Hi, Luguru21 here. Um, I'm going to try and do a, uh, a Medico pick and gut video here real quick for you. Uh, I actually just finished doing one and realized that when I was trying to uh, take off the clip in the back, um, I took the core out of frame. Yay! All right, so let's do it again. Break it a couple times there. Uh, this is a Peterson pry bar in 50 thousandths. Um, it's actually a little loose in there, but it'll work. Uh, and then for the pick here, I'm going to use a Sparrow's Steep Hook. Um, I was actually trying to use this gem that I used to rake this, and I, I have been able to pick this with the gem, but... Um, for this particular lock, uh, I like the, the sharper angle on this steep hook because uh, it lets me um, rotate the pins a little bit easier. Uh, and this lock has been a bit of a source of frustration for me ever since I got it. Um, I got it as a part of a lock lot, um, and when it showed up, uh, it only had three of the five pins in it. Um, it, it was just straight up missing the other two pins. Um, but, uh, Jeff Moss was nice enough to help me out. He got, uh, he, uh, he helped me get some additional pins for it. So I got it all fully pinned up at this point. Um, unfortunately, uh, those keys that you can see right there, uh, those are the ones that came with this lock. They don't work in it anymore, unfortunately, um, because I don't have all of the exact correct pins in here. And that's all right. Um, for what I'm trying to do, that isn't a huge deal. I'm trying to figure out where we're bound here at the moment. Mine feels like I might actually have rotational binding on five. I'm wondering if I overset five. I was not being my friend here.
a little reset there. <clears throat> I got one rotated in a, a second ago there. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, come on. Now my cats are being jerks to each other. Hey. There we go. Open. Hey, you two settle down. All right. Uh, so like I said, I do not have a functional key there, but as you can see, uh, we are open. Uh, I'm going to try to take this apart again, hopefully without taking it out of frame this time. Uh, if I accidentally lock this, I'll probably actually end up taking these pins out of the top. Um, but let's hope that I don't do that. I have not actually yet taken this apart this way, so you guys are going to have to bear with me just a little tiny bit. Come on. What I really wish is I wish that I had the pliers that you would need come on um, to open this clip. You guys are probably all sitting there laughing at me at home right now. In a goofy ass way, I'm trying to take this clip off. Ooh, I might have actually bent it out just enough where I can get a screwdriver into here. Hey. All right. Come on. <laughs> that took me almost as long to take the clip off as it did to pick the lock. All right, so let's turn it to about there. All right, hey, we got it. Not taking that out of frame, right? All right. So first things first, got our sidebar here. Let's see if, if we can, well, I'll just stick it down here and I'll, I'll lift that up so you guys can see it in a little bit. Oh yeah, a little anti-drill pins. I was talking to someone uh, and they were talking about the anti-drill pins. 
There's one, two, three, four, and five. Get back over there, four. Get back where you belong. So, let's see if we can't uh, get a little focus on this guy. Come on. You can focus. There we go. A little bit of focus. So here's the, uh, the actual plug. All right, now I'm going to try to get this out so you guys can see how the mushroom comes out. First chamber is not a mushroom, though, so we don't care as much. There's one, just standard. There's two. This is our, our mushroom. There we go. Oh, you've got to be... No, ha, I did have it right. <laughs> Looking at the mushroom and it's upside down, but my uh, cylinder is upside down too. All right, so there you go. Uh, mushroom was in there the right way. Uh, for a second there, I thought I had fucked up earlier when putting this thing back together. I did not. Yay for me. Another little tiny standard guy. I went flying, but he's just another little standard. And another little standard guy right there. Uh, springs are all just medical springs. Actually, one and Five are little copper springs that uh, Jeff Moss sent me, and uh, two, three, and four are all. Um, uh, they look like they might be steel springs. I'm not sure, but let's uh, let's kind of bring this up here a little bit. Actually, you know what I might do instead of bringing that up, I'm gonna bring you down. All right. Just move my camera a little bit there. All right, so I'll try and show you here. Uh, this one is number five. Five has a false gate. Oh, focus, focus. All right, five's got a false gate here and a true gate here. Uh, this is four. Four has a really shallow false gate here, but it is a false gate. And then a true gate here. Probably can't see that. Of course, that's not much better. I've just overblown the, the lighting. Um, yeah, hopefully you can see that. Uh, false gate up there, true gate there. Uh, this is number three. Number three only has a single gate. Nothing special going on there. Number two. Number two's got this really deep false gate here where my thumbnail is. And then the true gate there. And here is number one. Uh, got another false gate here and a true gate here. Try and rotate those up so maybe they'll show when I lift this thing up. Um, maybe. I accidentally left my pinning tweezers somewhere. So I gotta re get. Uh, I, I actually know where they are. I just need to go get them. Um, show this with all the gates pointing up here. Oops. All right. 
right, so here we go. I'm gonna try and shed a little light on this again. There we go. That's not as bad. So there's the uh, the pins. There's the sidebar at the top you can see. Uh, it's about 16 minute video <laughs> with me fumbling around a whole lot. Um, and uh, this uh, this mushroom would have actually been in the chamber that direction. You can see I've got everything like upside down in here right now, but um, mushroom would have been in there that way. Hopefully you saw that one was taken out. All right, uh, you guys have a good one, and talk to you later.